This next activity explores up-back-through combinations and is a great way for teams to practice vertical play through lines, finding third-man runners while exploiting spaces in behind. The setup for this activity takes place within three playing zones. There are two end zones approximately 15 to 20 yards in length and 15 to 20 yards in width. There's also a middle zone approximately 8 to 10 yards in length. Four mini goals will also be needed and are used as counter goals for the defending team. The blue team will start off with three defenders, while the red team will begin with six attackers starting within each of the zones as shown. The activity begins with the team in possession creating a four versus two rondo with the objective to find the midfield player within the central zone who roams freely. Once the midfielder is found within the central zone, the midfielder must combine with the two attacking players within the next grid. The two wide players should look to join in and support the attack. Defenders can also track back into the central zone in an attempt to regain possession. Coaches should stress the timing and type of movement to develop players' awareness and off-the-ball movement. After a successful switch of play, one defender and one attacker should remain within the furthest zone to repeat the activity in the opposite direction. As the activity continues, defenders will begin marking the free-roaming player closely. This is a good opportunity for coaches to introduce the progression, allowing the attacking and defending player in the other grid to drop within the central zone to turn or combine with players to progress the ball. One point is rewarded when the end line player is able to combine with the central attacker or combine with a wide player after a switch. If a defender wins possession, they can score within the two counter goals. The team that lost possession should be encouraged to counter press. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Also, leave a comment below with your feedback, or if you plan to use any of our activities within your next session, we love hearing from you, and your support is greatly appreciated.